And I've become something of a champion for the solar air heating technologies here. I love the way that they're simple, low-cost way to make a substantial impact on the bottom line in a household's energy consumption. They're really... I'm going to introduce you to the basic types of solar energy and show you where solar air heating fits into the spectrum in terms of efficiency and costs. And I'm going to give you a bit about the pros and cons, the pluses and minuses of solar air heating. Solar thermal, by contrast, is far more efficient. The actual collectors and technologies are far more efficient at absorbing the sun's thermal energy from light and infrared and making use of that energy. Once you install the collector, there's no added fuel cost unless you need power to run its internal fan. Some models cover that energy as well by using a photovoltaic module to produce electricity to power the internal fan motor. You want to set the temperature. The system operates by drawing interior air into the collector, passing it over the heated surface under glass where it can rise in temperature, and then blowing it back into the same space it came from heated up. There is one fan. Of these three positions for the uh, wintertime gain, it looks like the 1212 roof pitch is the ideal installation. And it may be, but we also have to consider one more factor. A solar air heating system can pay for itself in as few as three to six years, depending on installation parameters and fuel costs at your location. Once the system is paid for itself, it simply provides you free heat for its entire lifetime. And that lifetime may be quite a long time. Considering that it's, uh, but the very top of the SolarSheet 1500G collector pictured here is a photovoltaic module, that is a solar electric panel that generates electricity to power the internal fan inside the SolarSheet collector. The SRCC has given the SunMate a rating of 15,000 BTUs per clear day. That's because it has slightly more efficient internal workings. It's slightly smaller than the solar sheet at 77 inches in height and has a slightly different appearance as well. At the top, the SRCC, the Solar Rating and Certification Corporation, has online ratings in PDF format that you can view at any time. They update them regularly. In fact, almost every month I've seen um, new rating pages go up.